All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the V Play Craft Box Strawberry Fun Flavored Vape. And this is a really unique vape. It has a video game screen console built right into the device. And we're going to open this up in just a moment and take a closer look at it here. We're doing a Jacob Jones style video today. We're outdoors, we got the birds chirping. The only difference is, I'm not actually going to be inhaling this product. I quit vaping a long time ago and I have absolutely zero interest in going back. In fact, seeing a product like this does nothing but disgust me. Um, but what I am going to talk about today is the five levels in which vape companies get people addicted. Because if you've ever thought about quitting or you want to quit, uh, it's good to understand the different ways in which this addiction works. And that's what we're going to discuss in today's video right after we crack into this. And you know, it's funny to me because they say we don't market to children, yet we got this holographic box, just unbelievable marketing. We have literally a video game system built into the vape. Not only does that appeal to children, but it also takes the consumer's mind off of how much nicotine they're consuming, while at the same time reinforcing the habit and the addiction, right? There's a little bit of an addiction to playing games. It's catchy. And um, yeah, strawberry fun, the flavoring. I don't know how you can say this doesn't appeal to kids. But anyways, let's, let's crack into this. So we got this here. It comes nicely wrapped, and I will say, I did scratch and scan the authentic, the code of authentication and this is like a legitimate product it's not like some knockoff product right so in order to open this today we're going to take a look at the kershaw stiletto knife made right here in the usa carbon fiber auto knife we're gonna very sharp we're gonna open that up no problem like butter let's fold that back up Outside of uh, when I quit vaping, I think I picked up a knife, a little bit of a knife addiction. Okay, so technical support. They give you some information on contact. Okay, let's open this thing up here. It's been a while. Let's remove the little air thing, and let's see if this actually turns on. But this is what the device looks like. And you can see there's a whole video game screen on there, and this is actually, you could easily play a game on here while you're vaping. No problem, you could easily do this. You can smell the chemicals. Like you can literally smell them just leaking through. This brings me back. Oh, it turned on. I don't know how it turned on, but it turned on. It's kind of cool. Regular mode, vape mode, regular mode, no. I want game mode. Look at this, so they got Pac-Man, Tet something Tetra, this is crazy. Sound on, sure. Listen, listen. It's outrageous. Yeah, play. Oh my God. This is outrageous. Anyways, you can see, yeah, like you're screwed. If you're a youth and you're getting into this stuff, you're screwed. That's kind of fun, to be honest. Um, my, my point is, I want this to turn off. Turn off now. Go away. Turn off. I don't know how to turn this thing off. All right, here's the deal. So these companies, they get you addicted on five levels. Level number one is the nicotine addiction itself. Nicotine is very addicting. It releases about 200% more dopamine than your baseline releasing dopamine activities. And these companies, the disposables, the rechargeables, a lot of them use nicotine salts. And nicotine salts... Uh, hit your bloodstream faster and they exit your bloodstream just as fast. So that leaves the consumer, the person vaping, coming back for more, more and more frequently, okay? So that's the first thing. Everyone knows that. Nicotine addiction. That's the first way these things work. Secondly, strawberry fun. The flavoring of this one, right? Strawberry fun. You can smell the strawberry chemicals. Like, I just... I don't even understand how I used to walk around with something like this in my hand and inhale this. I, I, it's hard to comprehend at this point in my life. You, you put a good cigar in front of me, you put a cigarette in front of me even, a good dip of tobacco, I understand that. This, I don't know how I got sold on this. I don't know what, what happened. Well, I do, I was under the influence of a lot of other substances at the time I got hooked on these. Anyways, the flavoring addiction, that's thing number two, okay? 
Um, just like diet soda companies, just like energy drink companies, they understand that these hyper sweet flavorings are very, very addictive and they get you addicted to the hyper sweet flavoring. So now you're not only addicted to the nicotine, but you also become addicted to the flavor. If this tasted like ass, most people probably wouldn't get as addicted to it because the flavoring. Now, people could say, well, cigarettes taste bad and this and that, and that's not true. For people who really enjoy tobacco and love tobacco, there's a lot that, um, that, that there's, there's, there's a lot of flavoring there for them, but nothing compared to the flavoring on vapes. Issue number three, which is kind of different, is technology addiction. This, this is literally a piece of technology, right? This is literally a video game console plus a vape, okay? And it, you get addicted to technology. We all have this. I'm addicted to my phone. Everyone's addicted to their cell phones these days. And vape companies understand that. This is a piece of technology and it's addicting. And by adding a video game console to it, it reinforces and makes that addiction all the more powerful. But it's like, have you ever left your house without your phone and you kind of freak out? Like, or, or, or when you lose like a TV remote, even though you can work your TV by just going up to it and pressing the buttons on most of them. When we lose a piece of technology, it's like alarming, right? It feels expensive, it feels valuable, it's technology. And technology is addicting and they're making it all the more addicting by doing things like this. I've even seen vapes where now you can kind of customize the screensaver on it by dropping photos from your phone. Um, they're making these very customizable pieces of technology. It makes the consumer feel that they're all the more valuable, right? So like, Throwing this away is very different than crumbling up a cigarette or throwing out a can of dip or throwing away a can of Zen. This feels like something and that's addicting and it makes it harder for the consumer to back away from it even though it's just junk that's been produced in China. I mean, literally, it's, it's in the same spot where most of these come from, say Zen City, China or whatever, I can't pronounce it, but that's like where 90% of the vapes come from here in the US. Um, the next thing that makes vaping addicting is the novelty of it. So novelty in and of itself releases dopamine. And every time you see a new vape design, every time you see a new flavor mixture, it's novel, it's new, it's exciting. And that stimulates the dopamine in a person's brain. So unlike cigarettes, which yes, there is novelty, there is variation, but cigarettes really haven't changed much aside from the introduction of the IQOS system, which is the heat not burn cigarette. Um, there hasn't been much innovation in cigarettes. Vapes, very innovative, always changing, always new, always keeping the consumer interested. And whether it's flavors or product designs or product types or things like that, it's novelty. And this novelty combined with the nicotine, combined with the flavor addiction, combined with the technology addiction, makes these very, very, very powerful things to quit. Very, very addicting. And lastly, maybe the most annoying aspect of vaping addiction to me is the lifestyle. Uh, a brand recently, no, a marketing agency that was uh, con uh, contracted through a brand off stamp vapes recently reached out to me and offered me a pretty good chunk of money to make some short format YouTube shorts and TikTok videos uh, reviewing their vape and, and talking about it. And you know, here I am, a guy that helps people quit vaping and they're offering me money to make videos to promote the vape products to my audience. And what they were, the, the message behind their promotion was it's a lifestyle product, right? This is a happy, healthy, fun, kind of this alternative lifestyle. Alcohol does the same thing. Cannabis is doing the same thing. When the reality is like, there's, there's nothing good, like even just the scent of this strawberry fun is like making me nauseous. And that's what happens when you've been away from this stuff for a while. Same thing happens with people with like cigarettes and stuff. It, like I used to drink Diet Pop all the time. It just, it just the scent of it, the look of it, it just makes me sick. Same thing with these. Um, it just literally makes me sick. Uh, but going back to this, this is not a fun, healthy, happy lifestyle. First of all, if you're a grown adult, and you're sitting there hitting this, playing a game, there, there is guaranteed other things you should be doing with your life in this moment. Okay, st starting with quitting, okay? 
if you're over the age of 25 and this is, this is appealing, that, that would concern me, especially if you consider yourself a high performance person. And look, I was addicted to this stuff right up until the age of 27, 28. I'm just trying to be as direct as possible with you. Now, if you're a kid, a teenager, which that off stamp brand pisses me off even more because that's mostly what you're seeing in the high schools these days. And they're doing a great job of marketing to, to youth and to the lifestyle. Um, if you're a kid sitting there inhaling on this thing, playing a game, <laughs> uh, it froze, reset, reset, reset. <laughs> if, you're, if you're doing that, there is nothing healthy or happy about that lifestyle. Like there is a world out there that you could be experiencing. There is a world of different activities and things that you could be doing that's not this. Um, there's a lot more things that you could be doing in life than this. And it's a wasted investment on your health. It's a wasted investment on your money. And, and most of all, this is a wasted investment on your time. You, you can kind of get your health back. You can make more money, but you can't get your time back. And I can't imagine a bigger waste of time than something like this. Not only are you wasting your time, but you're wasting your health and your money with it. So it's just like a triple edged sword. Um, and I think it's very, very depressing. I, I don't think there is a healthy, happy lifestyle associated with vaping. And that's what a lot of these companies try and sell. And now they have just really stepped up their game. Now we got regular vape mode. It's crazy. This is a crazy piece of technology. Good luck, guys. If you need help quitting, check out the pinned comment below. We got supplements. We got programs. We got PDFs. All types of things to help you guys quit this junk. Good luck.